It's a good win for us. I think that obviously the name of the game was how we pitched. Uh, Will was terrific. Reed was terrific. Made some pretty good defensive plays behind them as well. And uh, when we pitch like that and play defense, it's hard to score on us. And uh, that's what we that's what we did today. We made some mistakes offensively, and I don't think we swung the bat the way we're capable of swinging it. But we did enough. And uh, it's always nice to beat a good team. We won a, a series today against a really good team, and for that, I'm fortunate. But uh, hopefully, we can come to the park and uh, play with a. You know, play even a little bit better tomorrow than we did today. And uh, but all in all, happy. Uh, Will was terrific. It's great to see him back out there after a long, you know, long rehabilitation as far as pitching for the Gamecocks. And uh, he didn't disappoint and, and threw great against a really good hitting team. And Reed, uh, Reed was terrific as well. Did you see any difference in Will's demeanor before the start? Um, no, nah, he was juice. He was ready to go. I think he was. Uh, uh, he, he's always that way though. He's bouncing off the walls on days that he's pitching and and. Um, he uh, he had a lot of he had a lot of nervous energy and rightfully so because he's put a lot into this and uh, he threw great and and you know I, he he was terrific and in, in the middle innings there right before he came out probably from pitch 40 to 45 to 80 he really started locating all his off speed pitches and I think that's when he settled in and that was the real Will Crow a um, little bit early he probably had some nervous energy and is you know not as sharp from a command standpoint but all in all a great performance. How pleased are you with what you've seen from Jacob Olson and Danny Blair these first couple games? They've played their tails off, and uh, you know I, we, we've we've won some games and we've scored some runs without you know Cullen and Stokes you know getting a lot of hits or, you know and, and producing some runs and they're middle of the lineup type guys for us. So, uh, but Olson and Blair and TJ yesterday has kind of picked up the slack, and uh, Jacob has an attitude about him uh, that I love having in the lineup, and uh, he 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 just. Uh, very confident player and, and believes in himself, and I'm glad he's here. How critical could Danny be hitting out of that nine hole and being able to play all three outfield positions? Well, he's he's a he's a he's, bon he's a great athlete, and him and him and TJ are two of the fastest players probably in the country. And um, you know, and when he's putting the ball in play and swinging it like he is right now, is a big big part of our team. And uh, got a lot of confidence going now. I feel great about the way he's swinging. He's, he works his tail off, and. Uh, He's uh, given us another dimension that maybe we didn't think we might have going into the season. Did you see that from Danny in the fall and the spring to kind of his, insinuate that he was going to have this kind of? Season? His numbers of you know his numbers of have, have all have been good in the fall and in the spring. Uh, I don't know if he's hit it with authority that he's hitting it right now, but but he found his way. He finds his way on base. He doesn't have to hit it good to get on base. And uh, if he can just consistently move the ball and hit the ball on the ground, and when he gets his pitch, you know put a good swing on it, he has a chance to do some damage because he's so fast. And he can cap them, he can hit ground balls or short and puts a lot of pressure on the defense. What do you think of Roe and Car Cortez kind of getting a little extended playing time? Yeah, Ro, Ro's, I love Roe because Roe, uh, he just plays the game the right way. He's a dirt bag and can bunt and hit and run with him. Yeah, you know, like, like the last play of the game right there, he, he's going to put his body in front of it. And uh, just love the way that he plays. I love his demeanor and he can handle the bat. Uh, who else you ask about? Uh, Car you know, it's good to see Carlos get a hit. He's, he's, uh, he's got a lot of things going on upstairs, and we've got to try to untie his brain a little bit and just let his natural talent take over because he's kind of in between right now. But um, once he uh, just relaxes and plays and swings the bat the way he's capable of, he'll, he'll, he'll do some really good things for us. You went long with Coley yesterday and then Reed today. Did, did you anticipate going so long with those pitchers, or do you think you'd have more guys that to use out of the bullpen well, first? Well, they were throwing so well, and uh, and you know when the game's in hand and we're playing a good team that we respect a whole heck of a lot, you know it makes me feel good going into tomorrow that Reagan and Tyler is going to be fresh. And uh, when you're going good, and after a couple innings, Reed was going to be done for tomorrow anyway. So uh, we were just trying to preserve our bullpen a little bit, both yesterday and today, and it worked out well. And Reed and Coley both uh, gave us great outings. Yes, sir. Okay.